Welcome back parents. I am Remy, an early childhood content creator and author. Thank you for your continued support of my Let's Talk video series. Today we will be discussing a topic that is relevant and important for all parents, the effect of screen time on children. As we dive into this topic, I hope you'll find the information useful and informative. So sit back, relax and let's get started. And don't forget to check out my books. The links will be provided in the video description. Thanks for watching. Screen time. It's a part of our everyday lives. But how much is too much? And what are the effects of excessive screen time on children's development, behavior and well-being? Screens are everywhere and they can be a great source of entertainment, education and connection. But too much screen time can have negative effects on children's development, behavior and well-being. For example, excessive screen time can lead to a decreased physical activity and increased sedentary behavior that can lead to obesity and other health issues. Excessive screen time can also lead to sleep disruptions which can impact children's ability to focus and learn during the day. Too much screen time can also lead to increased feelings of anxiety and depression as well as decreased social interaction and communication skills. So how can we set appropriate limits and boundaries for our children's screen time? The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends setting a consistent bedtime and wake-up time as well as limiting screen time to no more than one hour per day for children aged 2 to 5 years. To overcome these effects, it is important to set limits on screen time and to provide alternative activities that promote physical activity, creativity and social interaction. For example, setting aside time for outdoor play, reading, board games, creative play, providing opportunities for social interaction with peers and encouraging physical activities such as sports or dance classes. Each child is wired differently and we rarely have children who are exactly like their parents. To find out what interests your child, parents should try different activities and observe their children's reactions to them. By finding what interests your child and channeling their energies towards it, parents can help guide their child towards healthy activities. Additionally, parents should also lead by example by limiting their own screen time and involving their children in activities that promote healthy development. By setting appropriate limits and boundaries for screen time, we can help our children develop healthy habits and lead happy, healthy lives. Thank you for tuning in to today's video on the effects of screen time. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Parenting can be both exciting and challenging and we are honored to be a part of that journey with you. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay informed of future videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We would love to hear from you, so please feel free to leave your comments. Thank you for your continued support and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, take care and happy parenting.